The medium is the message, declared Marshall McLuhan. He even wrote a book with that name, except that when the proofs came back from the typesetter as the medium is the massage, he liked the mistake in the title so much he kept it. This has confused people ever since, though he might have intended a visual pun on massage and mass age. But what does the medium is the message really mean? It's a deliberately paradoxical statement. When you get a message, it's the message that's the message, isn't it? The content rather than its form. McLuhan's genius was to focus on the medium itself. He argued that throughout history, what has been communicated has been less important than the particular medium through which people communicate. The technology that transfers the message changes us and changes society the individual, the family, work, leisure, and more. Take the shift from oral cultures to print-based ones, for example. McLuhan thought the printed word encouraged an emphasis on the visual, whereas in earlier oral cultures, when speech was everything, the dominant sense organ had been the ear. The electronic media of his day, the telegraph, radio, television and the telephone, were, he thought, unifying people and encouraging participation, though perhaps at the expense of greater conformity. What was emerging was some kind of global village. It's almost as if he was writing about the internet. <laughs> <laughs> 